Why hello there good people, my name is Big Mooney, this here is episode number 23 of the Battlefield 4 to Plays and you can check out last week's winner in the description down below as per usual and uh, we have an awesome episode lined up for your viewing pleasure today. Our first clip up today is from Study and he is using the M98B He's playing some, uh, it looks like Rush on Rogue Transmission. And as he comes round the corner, he plants a bullet right into that guy's chest, taking him down instantly. Now, not too sure if the M98B still just annihilates anyone up close, if that's still the case. I don't know. I, um, I, I'm not very well versed with my sniper rifle, shall we say. But uh, as we come back into the courtyard once more, we get a headshot with our first shot, and then with our second, we get a hit marker. With our third, we get another guy, and then I believe that is the same guy that he killed in the first place, but he gets revived and instantly just popped, as usual, what happens to me. And then out of nowhere, we get a triple. Yeah, just in the middle of a streak, he just gets a triple. Out of nowhere. Followed up by another couple of kills. Unfortunately, it does miss that shot and this follow-up shot. But uh, we're going to get right into the MCOM station. Get that shit planted. And uh, I always like clips where not only do they play the objective, but uh, they just get an awesome clip in the middle of it. Like, the, the clip would probably be taken even if they didn't go and plant an MCOM station. But he gets in there and uh, with an RGO impact grenade there, I think he actually got himself a triple by throwing it over that little wall. And uh, just going to sort of lock up this avenue here as the MCOM station counts down to explode. His team don't have a lot of tickets left, so this was a sort of vital play and very well worth being in this week's Battlefield Top Plays as he just kills everyone and ends up moving his team onto the next set of MCOM stations with a triple in the middle of it as well as a bunch of kills to boot. Not too bad, good sir. So we get ourselves a C4 kill right at the end there. Moving on. Oh yeah, D. Uh, I'm breaking out the M60E4, bitches. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. You want to watch me do this? Do this is a four chopper. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I hit it. No! Oh, it's going down! Yeah! <laughs> I got it! Yeah! Whoa, oh, there you go! Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I got it. Saving that for you. I saved it too. Good work, uh -oh. no pit. Can you do the same thing with that attack shot? Oh shit, oh yep. shit. Please. Try. Oh, I thought that no, attack shot too fast. Me. I got it! Yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> For our third clip up today, we have Azobza. I think that's how you're supposed to say that. And then he just pops a helicopter pilot. 446 meters. First time. Unfortunately, it does eat a bullet in the process. He doesn't get revived, so that, that that didn't happen. It's fine. Doesn't count. But uh, the slow motion replay, that was an awesome shot there. For our next clip up today, we have Shocking Gaming. It would not be a top ways if Shocking Gaming didn't have a clip in there somewhere, but this time, it's playing a Paracel Storm, and uh, again, Rush. Rush is pretty popular today, and uh, he's just sort of planted himself in this little, um, sort of obscure little spot here, just poking up over uh, this ledge in front of him. The enemy team are frantically trying to stop the attacking team getting into that MCOM station, and uh, by him just being here, he has an angle that a lot of his teammates don't have, and he's able to get in there and kill a bunch of enemies, helping them move up towards the MCOM station. Now, this club is about to escalate pretty damn quickly. Just give it a second, as he's just peering over this ledge, he uh, gets himself another two kills, and uh, his teammate was not so fortunate, he ended up just taking a bullet to the skull, but um, it proves that this position here is uh, not too valuable anymore, as his team have moved up, so it's time for him to do the same and move further up, getting right in the enemy's faces, and as you can see on the map, there are shitloads of them around this area just here. And uh, he's just going to pop quite a few of them while well, hanging around this sort of wreckage here. And as he approaches uh, this little ramp, he, he chucks a C4 over there. And then gets himself five with his first two bits of C4. It's not too bad. And then he just appears over the top again, gets himself another kill. And uh, over 1,000 points in his current streak. In the end, he ends up with 21 kills in such a short space of time. Nice work. 
For club number five today, we have Tazmatenel, or Tazmate NL. I don't know, but I'm gonna guess he's from Holland. Let's go with that. But Blind Silk Road, air superiority. And uh, he's just starting off the clip here with uh, first person view, but uh, most of this clip is gonna take place in third person as he switches to it just here, and I believe he does not switch back to first person for the rest of this clip. I've not actually had any clips sent in of anyone just flying in third person. I know that third person has its uses and you can see more around you, but generally the rule is that people use first person because it's far more accurate for actually shooting. But uh, in this case here, he knows how to aim with the third person camera. Personally, I would like there to be a sort of uh, user interface where you can actually see a sort of little crosshair or maybe a dot, something, just so you can aim. But apparently he does not need it. So uh, he's getting in behind another enemy just here and uh, only manages to actually get a 43 kill assist on that one there, unfortunately. But there are plenty more people to shoot out of this guy. Do not worry about that as he comes up behind. Uh, another enemy here takes him out really swiftly. I've mentioned it loads of times in the past. Uh, these clips where they just dispatch people just quick as anything and move on to the next target. These are the best types of clips for pilots. If you can just dispatch your enemies just going one to one to one to one and just moving on each time and killing them so quickly, that is the mark of a good pilot as he comes up behind another guy and again takes him out with ease. And once again moves on to his next target and takes him down real quickly also. And uh, well the enemy team just seemed to not be able to get a lock on him. He uh, keeps himself mobile enough that he does not attract too much attention. Every time he does take some hits as he's doing at the moment he goes into defensive maneuvers or evasive maneuvers rather and he gets out of trouble really quickly. Going head on with this guy, I thought at first he was going to crash right into that guy's face. And uh, luckily for him, he does not. Uh, he gets a few hits in on him. I think that was the same guy there that just crashed into the ground. That's a problem with their superiority sometimes that people, instead of being taken down by the enemy, they decide to just crash into the ground. Bit of a douchey move, but I can't say that I haven't done it myself in the past, especially Battlefield 1943. It happened every once in a while, you know. Guy's on your tail, he's persistent, you're like, fuck you, I'm gonna crash into the ground on my own. Just admit defeat. I, I don't know. Not saying I'm proud of it, it, it just happened, that's all. But we're moving on to some more targets and uh, over 400 points in his current streak as he's doing some some damage on this enemy here who's in behind one of his squad mates he managed to actually save him and if you look on the map holy shit you should be dead by now if there's that many enemies behind you on the map you should get wiped the hell out really quickly but uh he manages to actually escape that situation and now there's loads of his teammates to back him up and um that's really the key to this game mode if you single yourself out, the enemy will single you out. So try and keep in amongst all of your teammates and you may get lost in the crowd and you won't attract as much attention. And he does use his teammates to his advantage. Gets himself 13 kills in total in a quick succession. Nice clips up. See you flying. Clip number six today, we have Whoopsie Yaya. And this is similar to a clip that I featured earlier on in this video. And I felt that I couldn't feature one without featuring the other because they're both equally awesome, it has to be said. He's already got one kill so far, just some random straggler, and that shot there is incredible. Taking out a helicopter pilot at almost 500 meters while he's moving. That's an awesome shot, let's move on. For numero 7 today we have Zetherot. And he's in his tank, spawning in here, playing on some Gallman Railway. And uh, he's just, you know, cruising about, doing his thing, going over this hill. And uh, we'll see if there's any enemies around the area. No one so far. Scanning the horizon, we spot some people parachuting in. And he's just gonna hit the guy that's parachuting. First time with a tank shell, even he can't believe it. Club number eight today, we have Disco Diller Gaming. And uh, he's playing on some Zabla 311. He has himself a FAMAS. Not a lot of people actually use this weapon. And uh, from the title of his video that he said, and he's a fan of this gun, and it's easy to see why throughout this clip. So he took up position by the door here, spots the guy up by the tanks, takes him down quickly. But uh, one thing that I. I like this gun, it is a good gun. But one thing I will say about it is the reload animation takes forever. 
Like, when you're in a firefight and people are just coming at you thick and fast, you might be able to kill them really quickly, because this gun just shreds. But, if you end up in a situation where there's lots of enemies coming at you, you run out of bullets really quickly and your reload is really slow, so it's not really a great combination. But other than that, this is a great gun. If you've got a full magazine and some people running at you, you can pretty much just destroy them. Now, this clip in particular I do enjoy because there's a few scenarios throughout the clip. He's singled himself out. He's all by himself on the map. There's a few scenarios where he should probably die, like right there. But that was some good movement there as he gets in behind the enemy and slashes his throat. And that's not the only time that actually happens in this clip. This guy tries to run away, takes some bullets up the arse. And uh, unfortunately, he is running out of ammo with his FAMAS. And uh, I don't know if he could actually find the guy's gun, but again, he jumps in behind the enemy, slashes his throat, and uh, I think steals his weapon. Now, he does this a couple of times throughout the clip where he tries to get out either his defibs or the health pack. I think he's actually going for the defibs and accidentally gets out the health pack a couple of times. Because clearly, the guy's kit that he picked up has the two gadgets the other way around. I hate when that happens. It always confuses me at first when you pick up someone's kit and they've got them on the opposite buttons. So you end up having to scroll around trying to look and find where your fucking, your defibs are or whatever. But uh, he's got an M16A4 now. Takes down that guy with the SW40 for uh, there again. He gets in a bit of a situation trying to revive the guy and he chucks a health pack out. I'm like, here, just fucking have this. But uh, moving forward again, we take down another guy Overall in this clip, he just, I just really enjoyed this clip. The way that he just goes around and deals with enemies around him all the way through. Our next clip up today comes from Izzy Gone Crazy, and he is playing an Operation Locker with the 870 MCS. Starts off the clip with one kill there, and followed up by a second swiftly afterwards, and uh, this guy pops his little face up just in time to take a shotgun shell right through it. And uh, again, someone else nominates himself. I don't even know if the guy actually saw him. He just walked right past him into his little cell, and he did not approve such conduct, so he just shoots him also. Now, the, the reason this clip was selected, you will see later on. There's a couple of things I really do enjoy about this clip, but uh, it is good to get a little shotgun streak in there every once in a while. I am a fan of good, well paced shotgun clips where you're just dispatching enemies left, right, and center as he's doing just tears. He takes down another two as he comes around the corner. It's a nice little flanking. Uh, maneuver there, and then we get ourselves another three. So, not too shabby so far, and uh, the main event is yet to come up, as you will see when that happens. Get reviving there, because, you know, team play is good, before we shoot this guy right in the temple. Our next guy here nominates himself, he gets dispatched quickly, as does this guy at long range behind the metal detector. Actually, some range you got out of a shotgun just there. But uh, speeding forward, we end up picking up someone else's kit, I think, and we end up with a short 12 gauge and uh, get one more kill. And this this is a bit of a weird kill. I think there was some lag going on because the guy was looking the wrong way. But as we come around here, he finds the quad bike. I don't know why. I mean, I know the commander can just drop these things in, but usually they end up on the skybox, so I don't know how it actually got inside the locker. But as he just goes around this main. Uh, main part of Operation Locker, he gets himself a couple of road kills and over 1,000 points in a streak while driving, road killing people on Operation Locker. Okay. Club number 10, we have Nova Betrayed. Now if you follow me on Twitter, and I suggest you do, link down below, you will have saw me comment about this one earlier on today, where I said that this is one of the most ridiculous clips that I have ever seen. Now, here's the scenario in this clip here. He's playing some Dragon Pass Rush. He has an M98B, as he always does, even in Battlefield 3. He had, like, a ridiculous amount of kills with this gun. And, um, the enemy team are holding his team back as they're slowly making some ground up towards the MCOM stations. And while I've been saying this sentence, he's just murdered like five people or something. This guy is ridiculous with the sniper rifle. I mean, he, he just got a 1,200 point streak there. I mean, that's not even the main bulk of the clip, that's just something that happens in the clip at one point. So, we're backing up here. This guy um, seems to have got lost in some bushes, and uh, eventually we did put him out of his misery there with a 44 Magnum. And, um, well, now it's time to make our way down towards uh, the main bulk of the combat. I mean, he he's no use sitting all the way back here, man. He needs to get right in the thick of it. Getting in there with a sniper rifle and uh, pop some fools. I should have sped this part up, but we're just rolling with it. Fuck it. He's got up here to his bush, 
and um, guy just takes a bullet to the face, and then another guy takes a bullet to the face, and then another guy takes a bullet to the chest, and that shot, that shot happened. I believe we're on 14 kills at the moment, and uh, we're gonna make that 15 if we take that guy's head off, and then we're gonna make that 16, and, and yeah, 17. I, I've got no words for this clip. I mean, I've seen some good sniping clips in the past. This clip here is probably one of the best, if not the best, single clip that I've seen with someone with a sniper rifle in their hands. It's, it's crazy. But moving up here, he gets in behind the cover. He did take a few hits as he went into cover. I think he was already in cover when he took the hits, because Battlefield 4 and yeah. But uh, poking over that uh, this little wall of defense here, he gets himself one kill there, and there's a couple of snipers way up back, or just some spectators. I'm not really too sure what they were contributing to this fuckfest over here, but uh, we do hit that guy right in his face, and um, just all rounds. There's so many nice shots in this clip. It is crazy. 27 kills in all. Really nice clip. I hope that's worth your like rating on this video, but I will see you guys next week in next week's Battlefield 4 Top Plays. Goodbye.